What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Michael Sheed. Michael Sheed King, to be exact. For those who don't know me, I guess you can call me a social media influencer. I'm also a professional boxer. I've done bodybuilding. I've done powerlifting meets. You name it. I'm an all-around hybrid athlete. What you are experiencing today is week one, day one of the Kingmaker program. This is an upper body day. Now you'll see that I'm gonna be doing multiple body parts in each workout. We're trying to train to be all round athletes, impressive physical specimens that look good and can actually move well. I always start my days off with a pre-exhaust, and today we're gonna to start out with a max rep pull-ups, superset it with max rep push-ups. You take a 30 second break, and then you repeat this process two more times for a total of three rounds. When I say max reps or going to failure, it doesn't mean go until it burns and stop. It means go until you cannot do another rep. If you can only do three pull-ups, try to get that fourth pull up, okay? If you could do three or 30, it doesn't matter. Max effort is max effort, and that's what your body responds to. Your body doesn't respond to what it does efficiently. So if you zip through 10 and you just hop down, you get nothing out of that. You gotta be trying to get those struggle reps. That's when your body starts to respond. You see, I couldn't get the last rep. That's failure. Go right to push-ups. So Mike Rasheed, why would you pre-exhaust? completely warms the body up. Not only that, but it kind of fatigues you. You will learn a lot about your body when you do movements like this. The only way that your body will grow and respond is by getting to that phase of adaptation and trying to increase the intensity. Okay, 30 second break and we're right back at it. If 30 seconds is not enough, and you're a novice, take 60 seconds or 45 seconds. The next week, when you do that exercise, try to scale back five to 10 seconds. You can increase intensity by reducing your resting time. All right, so you wanna do three rounds of that. If you're a beginner, just do two, but the goal is to do three. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move into the bench press. That will be the primary movement for today. So we like to attack that first so we can give go all out on it, despite being pre-exhausted, which is a good thing. Now, you always wanna keep your ass flat on the bench. If you have an issue keeping your butt down, spread your feet out as wide as possible and you won't be able to lift your butt off the bench. I'm not gonna arch, but I am gonna try to position my shoulders to where they're kind of pointing down. So give me a little bit of leverage, okay? I do recommend you keep your elbows turned in. I've destroyed my shoulders over the years, benching with my arms flared out like that. All the way down, explode up. Even when you're warming up with no weight on the bar, you wanna do the movement like it is weight on the bar. Try to push it through the roof. You gotta learn and practice that explosiveness and that kind of intensity because you will play the way that you practice. My first set is gonna be 135 pounds, which is approximately 60% of my body weight. I'm between 220 to 225 at any given day. Um, my one rep max is 500 pounds. Respect the weight. Treat every set like it's heavy. All right. You can try my percentages if it's too heavy or if it's too light. Be honest with yourself and adjust accordingly. We're not timing the rest, but you don't wanna go over a minute to kind of fill it out. All right, so now we're going on a set two, 100% of my body weight, 225. 12 to 15 reps, but shoot for 15. And we like to call that easy money, baby. So now we're gonna move on up to 140%, and we're gonna reduce the rep range a little bit. So the cool thing about this program, whether you train for percentages, one rep max, body weight, whatever you do, it's all in this program. It is something for everybody. It's a hybrid, bodybuilding, powerlifting, explosive training, you name it. This will make you a well-rounded, sculpted, kingly athlete. Easy money, baby.
This set, you're going more into a power range. So three to five reps is appropriate. But if you're feeling like King Kong, five to eight, why not? Your power is going to generate from your feet. From your feet, through your glutes, through your lats, the whole nine. Well, I guess bike's feeling like King Kong did it. All right, guys, from here at 140, you're gonna go up to 180 for three to five reps. And then you're gonna back down to 140% and you're gonna go all out as many reps as possible. And then after that, give yourself a short break and go right into the warrior push-ups. And I'll show you how to do them right now. Okay, so warrior push-ups. I kind of put this together a long time ago when most of my strength training was body weight. And what it is, is we start out with a movement that I actually learned in yoga. It's a nice stretch, but it's also hitting your triceps, your core and your chest like crazy. You wanna pretend you're going up under a bar and coming right back under. You're gonna do that five times. And then you're gonna get in the push-up position and you're gonna do what I call touch hands. Do a push-up left hand to right hand nice and slow push up right hand to your left hand do that for five reps okay and from there we're going to push up into a side plank five reps each side from there you go into knee ends it's hitting your core you're still hitting push-ups Come up, one knee all the way up as high as you can go, and right back out, push up, knee in as high as you can go. That for another five reps. And then finish it with max rep push-ups. I can usually get to about 10 after that, and that's about it. Jeez. Those times that I say five reps, it's five reps per hand, so it's really 10 reps each time. So all you're doing is burning out with push-ups, keeping it kind of interesting. It forces a ton of blood into the cells, into the muscles, and it's making you grow. And it's putting some hair on your chest, turning you into a king, because it's the king maker, and we make kings. So next up, we're going right into our lat pull-downs. So here we're gonna do four sets of 15 reps. A lot of volume, this is density training. You wanna to go to a moderately heavy weight, not too heavy to where you can't get 15 reps, but you want to barely be able to get them 15 reps every set. And if your first set is too light, on the next set, increase it. And if it's too heavy, on the next set, reduce it. No ego lifting today. I got through it fairly easy, maybe increase it by one, one click. But I know by the time I get to the fourth set, I'm gonna be struggling, and that's what you want. Now, I have to be honest with myself. It feels too easy now. But now I see I need to increase it maybe two clicks. Sometimes it takes you feeling the weight doing a full set to really know where you're at, so. Some people might be kind of leaning back, trying to get a little more leverage to pull it. I don't see nothing wrong with leaning back, increasing intensity. If you need to fine tune, that's a little bit different. Reduce the weight, try to stand straight up. Big compound movements, squat, bench press, deadlift. Your form need to be on point. But for stuff like this, just get in there and get the weight. One pointer and one tip that I do wanna give you guys is when you're pulling, you wanna pull violently, pull hard. Coming up, nice and, nice and easy, controlled, but coming down, you wanna be explosive, pull hard. So from here, catch our breath, short break, and go right into side delt raises or medial delt raises for the bookworms out there. The way that I'm gonna do this, I come from here. I don't come from here because I find I get a lot of momentum and it's a lot easier when I do it here. So from here, I take away that swing. It's a lot harder starting from a weak position. So we're always trying to do the more difficult movement. So. We're gonna do three sets of 20. Not a heavy weight, but not a lightweight. Enough to be able to get 20 reps, but still get a burn. As you notice, when I get near the end of my sets, 
I go higher, increasing the intensity at the end of the set. I told you guys, this program comes from the spirit of a boxer and a bodybuilder. So in boxing, both guys are gonna get tired, but the one who shows it is at a disadvantage. So I tell people, turn on that crazy. That's why when I start feeling fatigued, I put in more effort. Try to get locked into that mindset. Okay guys, we're almost finished with day one, week one of the Kingmaker. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some dumbbells. I selected some five pounders. You can grab five pounds, two pounds, three pounds, it doesn't matter. And what you're gonna do is shadow box. All my life since I was a kid, I always got compliments on my shoulders. I never understood why. But a lot of boxers have really well-defined delts. And it's from constantly having your arms up and throwing punches. So what we're gonna do is activate some more shoulder work in a functional capacity, and also you get some good cardio in, okay? And what we're gonna do is throw punches nonstop for 60 seconds, okay? For those who don't know how to properly throw punches, get in your proper stance, the one or jab, you twist it over like this. As you're coming back, you throw the two or right cross, straight like that. Boom, 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 okay? Here we go. Shoot high. Now listen, 60 seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a long time, especially when you're not used to doing it. So if you need to take a break, do so, but take as short a break as possible. Maybe do a three count and go right back at it. I don't care if you gotta do it 10 times. Ah. Woo. Shoulders on fire right now. And that's what you want. All right, everybody, that is week one, day one of Mike Rashid's Kingmaker program. Only at bodybuilding.com, all access. You need to get it. I'm very proud of this program. It will change your life. You will increase overall functionality. You will increase muscle endurance, muscle density. You will look like a gladiator, a king, a warrior, an athlete, for real. You're not just gonna look like it, you're gonna be it. You're gonna be able to perform and function like one, okay? And look great at the same time. You will be cussing me out because it's difficult, but you won't be disappointed. You're gonna love it.